fishing can be addictive and I always find it a pleasure to go bass fishing whether I catch or not. However, there are certain times in the month during the bass fishing season that I can improve my chances of success. Records I have kept over the last 25 years show that for the marks I fish, the low water period is more consistent than the high water period. However, that does not apply for every low water period on every day in a given month. Other factors come into account such as neap tides or spring tides and time of day etc. In general, if I am fishing during the daylight hours, I try to pick a period of spring tides and in particular a rising spring tide. By rising I mean that the tides are getting bigger each 12 hour cycle rather than getting smaller each 12 hour cycle. Those periods occur a couple of times each month and there appears to be more bass activity therefore more chances of catching fish. The following daytime caught bass were caught during springtide periods. This bass was caught in the afternoon early in the flood tide. This bass was also caught in the afternoon but on this occasion it was caught on the ebb tide. As said both bass were caught on spring tides. Experience has taught me that during neap tides there is less bass activity and less chance of catching fish however there are exceptions to that rule. Those exceptions are when a certain time of the tide coincides with darkness into dawn or dusk into darkness. I'm heading here to fish during a small neat tide and even worse a falling neat tide. In other words getting smaller each 12 hour cycle with, every, with very little tidal movement. However another factor comes into account. Low water and the early flood tide coincides with dusk into darkness. Therefore my chances of success are greatly improved than if I were fishing during normal daylight hours. Okay I'm down at my mark. I'm down here well before darkness so I can get myself ready. It's quarter to four at the moment and it will start getting dark about quarter past five. So I do a bit of fishing down to dusk and then into darkness. It's very overcast today so when the light does completely go it should be quite dark. But for those of you that have fished after dark before will know that your eyes do adjust and you can you can actually see a bit. However I've got my headlamp with me and that's mainly going to be used when I, if I do catch a fish to unhook the fish and also of course to be able to see when I'm clambering across these rocks here. And in particular when I've got to make me make my way back home across these rocks when the tides come in a bit and that's going to obviously be a lot safer for me with, with light when I know this area very very well and a bit of advice for those of you that do go out fishing after dark and don't really do much after dark fishing is to always know the area that you're fishing well and your tides particularly on a, on a flooding tide an incoming tide from the point of view of safety. So I've got my headlamp with me to help me see a bit and obviously for safety. Also for safety in case I do slip on these rocks I've got my mobile phone with me so if I do get into trouble at least I can contact someone to let them know. As regards the tackle I'm using exactly the same tackle as if I was plug fishing lure fishing for bass during the day. I've got my usual 15 to 50 gram 8 foot lure rod my 4,000 size spinning reel loaded with 20 pound braid and then me two two and a half feet of 15 pound fluorocarbon and I'm going to be using a plug and I'm not going for a plug of any particular color that I might think would be better after dark this is a, a tackle house feed shallow 128 and I'm going to rely on the vibrations of this plug, plug and the movement its movement through the water as I crank it in for the bass to be able to detect it. Now this does have 
uh, when you reel this plug in, you can actually feel the vibrations on the rod tip. So that's going to obviously create, and it's got a rattle in it as well, disturbance in the water. So even though it would be pitch black and obviously zero visibility, or as what we think is zero, zero, zero visibility for the fish, they'll still be able to detect this by its movement. Now for those of you that have seen my previous plug fishing uh, videos for bass, you'll know that this year I'm experimenting with single hooks, decoy plug in single hooks, rather than using trebles on plugs. And that's gone very well so far this season. But I've got the, I've put the trebles back on for this session for a very, very good reason. There's been a lot of squid around at the moment. And I've actually seen them when I've been plug fishing for bass during the day. I've actually seen them have a go at this plug. But of course with single hooks, I haven't got much chance of actually hooking, hooking one. And if I was going for squid, just going for squid, then of course I would fish a squid jig that's got these prongs, these spikes on, that uh, empowers the tentacles when the squid grabs hold of the lure. They get impaled on these prongs here, these sharp prongs. But with the treble hooks, I do stand a chance of maybe hooking one of these squid. And as I'm partial to squid, um, and if there's no bass around, at least maybe I can go home with a squid rather than nothing. So that's the reason the trebles are back on, just because there's a few squid around and I stand a chance of hooking them. But the single hooks so far this season has proven successful and under normal circumstances then I will go back to the to the single hooks. Okay it's low water just before five o'clock just before dusk so that's good so I'll probably I'm going to fish in as I say into the darkness probably fish an hour and a half two hours at a flooding tide in the dark and hopefully show you that you can catch a bass lure fishing after dark. Now I know around the country there are people that do this and I've, I've realised that you can lure fish for bass after dark. But I'm sure there's many out there that think it's just a daytime thing to do. And hopefully I can show you that it's not. And of course might, might actually catch some other fish as well. Say the squid or then maybe a few pollock come in but they're unlikely to be very big. So we'll see how we, how we do. I'm going to start fishing now down to dusk. And obviously the filming after dark is, is going to be a little bit difficult. But uh, if I do hook bass, I'll put the camera on and at least we might get sound. And if, even if you don't see anything. And with the headlight, the uh, headlamp here, at least I'll be able to show you the bass um, at my base camp here. Unhooking it and show you that I've actually caught one. Okay, so I'll start fishing and see if I can uh, pick one up before dark. Well, I know it's not what I'm really here for, but I did know that there's a lot of squid around, and it's a welcome, it's a welcome catch, and that was the reason for putting the trebles on, so that I stand the chance of hooking one of these if they are around. So there, so I'm glad I did. So there's a squid. We're just coming up to dusk now still got a bit of light left probably another half an hour or so and I'll be into darkness so let's hope for, hopefully one or two bass start biting I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but I've got a, I've got what I'm pretty sure is a bass, and it's it's as good as the light is as good as gone now. You might you might be able to pick something up, but I'm not sure. But certainly with this cloud cover, there's. <coughs> It's as good as 
pitch black and it certainly it certainly won't be it certainly won't be long before long before it is and it seems a pretty decent but reasonable bass yeah you can't see it maybe you can hear the hear the splashing and and the ratchet get it in yeah it's a pretty pretty, pretty reasonable bass Yep, it's a decent, it's a decent bass. And there you go. Right, we'll get this one. So I don't know if you'll you'll pick that up. I've got lights of Falmouth in the Falm, Port Falmouth in the background there. They're, they're showing these very 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 low light conditions and still ca catch bass on lures. Put the light on it there for you. Say, uh, I better see it better. This nice bass. <clears throat> Get back out again and see if I can catch catch some more. The lights, lights gone now. But like I said earlier, your your eye eyes adjust to it and I can still see see pretty well at the moment okay that's really that, that's really pleasing but once again the tackle fat tackle house feed shallow fa absolutely fantastic lure particularly uh, in shallow rough ground areas which is what I'm fishing at the moment only dives to 30 centimeters but it's, it's a great lure and it's, it's, it's got a great action and I fine as far as I'm concerned concern fishing at night because you can actually feel the vibrations on the rod tip so which means that the fish the fish are going to be able to detect it that was the only bass of the session however really pleasing to catch a decent bass along with the squid in my experience I stand the best chance of success when there are rising spring tides, however, even when the tide is not, not the best tide for fishing, if a certain time of the tide coincides with a favourable favorable time of the day, such as darkness into dawn or dusk, dusk into darkness, the chances of success are greatly increased. In general, dawn or dusk that coincides with the right time of the tide is a great time to go lure fishing for bass. Once again, I hope you found that useful and many many thanks for watching.